flames You cut your hair, changed your name Left a note as you escaped To thine own self be true But there was no gold in those hills No platinum in those pretty pills Just werewolves tossing dollar bills And the wine dark sea of Malibu The curse of small desires Easily acquired It's time to set your gasoline heart on fire All right, ladies and gentlemen, others, welcome back to the Nipa TV show. It's been quite a long time since I've streamed, but I am back for, you know, when I'm available, which is now. So let's do it. We're going to be playing some Finding Paradise. It's an RPG game. It's a, uh, it is an indie RPG game. Let's get it loaded up. Shouldn't waste time. Boom. Copy that. Copy that. See if this loads up here. It's not loading up for some reason. Weird. Hold on. Boop, boop. Boom. Did that work? Oh, it's small. Dang. Hold on. Let's uh, expand it. Put it over here. Make a huge. Fine. Eh, move it a little bit to the right. Like that. It should be good. Eh. We could expand it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Like that. Yeah. That work? Let's see. Boom. Ish. Let's do it. Oh. We must make people's lives so good. Original music. Kangao Lara Shigehara. It's fine. It's fine. What the shit, Ava? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. <laughs> hey, Nova. Welcome to the stream. Oh, okay. Welcome to the stream, Stabby. Hope you've learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we could be around to stop more self-inflicting critic casualties later. Logic. Enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. 
and then I have to eat them for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. Yeah. We're going in. <laughs> what an asshole. What a jick. Oh. Whoa, check it this check out this red bike. Learning instruments are good. I just actually got done with my piano lessons. And uh, I can use both my fingers now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. Let's do it. Let's grab it. I think it's Z. Let's enter. Let's roll. Here we go again. Like a cucumber. What? <laughs> you know, cucumber rolls, sushi. Yeah. No, that that's quite a stretch. Okie dokie. Let's go. Let's go make some dreams come true. Hello, crying girl. Hmm. There's a leaking sprinkler over there. <laughs> hey now, what happened here? She she kicked my titty into the water. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair, who looks like that? But Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. <laughs> huh. Don't worry, we'll get your bear back. Actually, let, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I, I got this one. Who helps? Dr. Watts, you got this. Hey. What? Huh. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Unlike wimpy teddy bears that... <laughs> Savage. Uh, Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for. Yay. You're my hero. No probs, kid. In your face. <laughs> 360 no scope dance. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Ava. Kind of like tuna. Okay. Yeah, let's go do our job. Just got to find out where our job is. Hmm, 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 hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 Hello. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? <laughs> I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was what? 
Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here already. Gabagool! That is your question. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Do you like fruit snacks? Uh, not really, because of all the artificial flavors and stuff. Um, I don't really dig sugar anymore, honestly. I'm addicted. I don't... I, it's best that I not like it. It makes it easier. <laughs> do you like... Do you like Welch's? Alright, maybe it's just me. Ah, uh, pain. <laughs> Pain. Right, let's talk to this dude. Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How do you know? This is the second time I've, I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reens, know of him? A uh, retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves, probably. To the top floor we go. We actually go up here. Nope. Okay, let's take the elevator. I like how the credits are still rolling. That's pretty dope. Spouses, am I right? Hmm. Always make the job so cumbersome. Oh, I just thought of something. Is it? And Dr. Watts. <laughs> yes, we're here for Colin. <laughs> of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. Alright, let's go get him. Me. I'm Princess Leia as an older lady. Act one. Tell me, what do you want to change, 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 change? Here I go. Oh, this is a quaint place you got here. Colin, it's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, cause, cause right now I'm just really need to put this box down. Okay. Hola da daddy. Here we go. We go up here. Where we go? Here we are. Oh, another dying patient. It's usually how this job description goes. You must be here for my father. Yes. You're the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. He gets it. Gotta give him like a Brooklyn accent. Where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is that table over there enough to get set up? Yeah, that'll do. Are you guys ready to get set up? Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We must progress. Yeah, just give us a moment. Oh. Uh oh. We gotta make this practice. <laughs> Is this power sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. 
But first, brace yourselves for a power edge of cinematic proportions. I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. What up, Stabby? That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. Can't hear the redeems? Have you tried doing the... I don't think you... I don't see any redeems coming through the chat. There we go. Is the game too loud or something? That's equally comfy as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So you two are for real? Cool. It's good. What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish? We certainly try our best, Mom. But we always succeed because it would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it th that he wants? He wouldn't tell. He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's that's okay. We'll find we'll find out for him from him soon enough. Isn't it also the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box. Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. All right. I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. Dr. Watts. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock to decide. I'd rather play logic. You forgot it, so you go get it. The end. Well played, Spock. <sighs> Dr. Rosalina's has had enough of this crap. I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Good. That'll save some time. All right. Already down to business, huh? Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lynn assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but their rosters were full at the time, so we heroically volunteered. Turned out they got nothing to do to though today, huh? Hmm. I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your jab. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Okay. Probably should go get that thing. What's going on here? Oh, come over here before you head out. I got something for you. Here, this should help. Received remote patient monitor. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Escape to right click a menu. <gasps> this is new. Trusty little wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me Thomas. No oh, Thomas for you. And the lights come on. Oh, well. Wait, wait, wait. Something shiny. Something shiny. Toilet paper. Ooh. Ava's gonna love this. Interesting. Hello. Code 32, Ava. Code 32. Rectify it. Nah, I don't wanna. Dang, Nabbit. I'll be right there. Right there. Oh. 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 It's called a toilet paper dispenser for a reason. <laughs> How hard was that? And you, shame on you for abusing my OCD. <laughs> there she goes. Yeah, she gotta use the exercise. Damn, rude. Let's go get the file. Is control shift? Or is control run? I don't know. We took an elevator, right? Yeah. We must take the elevator cue to switch between characters. 
Neil wasn't kidding. This thing really is configuring itself. Why, well, it does that now. Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool. In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. Hi, kid. Hi, kid. We must go search the house. I should get someone to show me around, round, round, round. Anything I can help with, Doc? Uh, tour the apartment, sure. Think you could show me around the apartment while we're waiting on my colleague? Of course, I'll come with. Ugh. Let's go to the beach, beach, let's go. Let's get away, way, 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 way. Asher has joined the party. Let's go check out this, uh, this, this plane. A model of a small fixed wing aircraft. I got the rest. Sounds like a song. Huh, is this your dad's? It sure is. He used it to be an air- used to be an airplane <laughs> pilot. I guess it reminds him of his roots. Received retired pilot. <laughs> Okie dokie. Man, why is everyone so slow? TV. Is that your parents? Yeah, that's them. Yeah. <laughs> I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Cool. Pot of homegrown hibiscus. Oh, it must be hard working. Hard work growing tropical plants all the way out here. I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Receive note, hibiscus. Hibiscus. Where am I going? Through the kitchen. Appears to be a basement. Gabagool. Oh, no. It goes to the, the bathroom. Okay, let's get out of here. There is no need to head out. Neil's getting files already. Alright, let's go switch back to him. Doop, doop, doo, 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 doo. Where does this go? Knock, knock. What are you, all? Oh, fuck. You're from Sidcorp. <laughs> Am I really dead? Uh, no. Don't lie to me. I just signed up for your services last week. They said you'd come for me when it's time. I already said we're not here for you, man. No, I'm, I'm not prepared. I can't die yet. Oh, I know. You're not really here. I'm just seeing things. I just drank too much. Sha la 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 la. <laughs> cool. Open the elevator, please. In we go. Oh, you got your bear back. Yep. And a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she she didn't even touch the water. Uh, you should lay off the sugar, kid. Ain't good for your head. Aki, lay off the sugar, kid. Oh, yeah, we must get the file. We must get the file. That's in the car. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's an old lady on the bench next to the ducks. Next to the ducks that appear ripped. Look like they've been lifting weights. Who's dying, dear? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. That coat and tag, you are from Sigmund. If you're here, then somebody's time is up. <laughs> Colin Reeds, do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. Uh, you sound awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. Uh huh. Okay, creepy lady. Bye bye. I'm going to my car to look at files. Because that's what I do. Next to the motorcycle. Beep, beep. Here we go.
Dang damn it, did I leave it at the office? <laughs> Hello? Rox, it's me. Neil, <laughs> still hiding your color ID? Getting calls from unknown feels like I'm in a horror movie, you know. My bad, I'll turn it off next time. No, I love the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the feds coming after me? The excitements are endless. Um, alrighty, anyways. Uh, look, are you still at the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Oh, okie dokie, pokey lokey, just give me a moment. Hey, you got the file. Hey, but I think I forgot it, Beckett. You what? <laughs> Don't worry. I called Roxanne. She's going to find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. <sighs> Did you find it, Rox? <laughs> yup. It was just setting up on your table, after all. Great. Just scan it and... Wait, my table... You're in my room? <laughs> yep, you asked me to get the files, right? I meant for the printer in the lobby. How did you get into my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, a girl's got her ways. <laughs> okay, look, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? And don't touch anything, I just organized it. Yep, yep, on it. She's gonna snoop around more. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> Mmm, you rock. Mmm, what's she doing? She's snooping a little too much. <laughs> yeah, guys got everything else you need? Yeah, Ava's configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? What? Is it nice out for a drive? I guess so. Neato. I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. What? Why? Just skin it and send over a copy. Well, we've got no patience today, and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you about then. Wait, Rox. <sighs> Dig nabbit. Yeah. I am Ava Chan. I guess we go back to where we were. Uh, configuring system to patient Neuralink. Okay. Oh, more sparklies. Piano. An age digital piano. This is my mother's old keyboard. She used it to love me to hear you playing it back in your cage. Intentionally, I hope. Mm hmm. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. Also, your mother's, or. No, this is my father's. He played it a lot back in the day. But not. But not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. Usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Received. Note each cello, la la la. Alright, what else can we find? We've already explored all the sparklies. Oh, here we go. Yeah. That was weird. Feels good. I suppose we go up the stairs here. Oh, ho, ho. I haven't seen many apartments with multiple floors. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. Okay, what a weirdo. Huh, seems like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yeah, it's sealed up. He doesn't want anybody reading it, huh? 
Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. Let's leave it alone. Okay, I'll leave this be. I guess if it's not of any importance, we'd be able to see soon enough. Let's keep moving. Where to? We've explored everything, haven't we? Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Oh. Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. A physical photo album in this day and age? Feels like it turned to dust if I opened it. It's quaint, but I guess they like having something they can touch. Look through it if you want. I'll go check on my father. I should go get the machine ready too. My colleague will be back soon. But I'll check this out for a bit first. Oh. Oh. Oh, the family photos. Oh, more family photos. Oh, family photos. Oh, look at that. Family photos. All done. Good. Very fast of reading. How are we doing here? Good, got my part done. How about the file? You said Roxy is sending the scans. Uh, she said she's delivering it in person for some reason. What? That's wasting both our time and hers. Yeah, hers mostly. We can still start. Still, I mean, I know she's a bit cucumbers in the head and all, but... Whoa, language, Ava. Anyway, we'll worry about her loopiness later. Shall we start? All right, just get the patient equipped up. Uh, Neil? Uh, hmm, yeah, mm hmm. Never mind, we'll talk later. Your helmet is on the recliner, we're all set. Okie dokie, where's the red guys right in front of me? Comments, memory, traversal? Ready, let's do it. Wait! Huh? Before you begin, can you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish, duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I do know that, but... Eh, how? What will you actually be doing? Well... Hmm... Let's elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. <laughs> Who knows best? The machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him, it would be indistinguishable from a lifetime of real memories. However, the permutations the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in the key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through these memories from the most recent to as far back as we need. Drawing a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick ass decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition, is that enough? I'd have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? Perhaps. Uh, perhaps. But one problem. He's not brain dead. There's a few things that uphold the illusion of reality. Your logical happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's a little need for interference. Anyhow, willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. 
but in a simulation based on the mental state of a single moment stretched through a lifetime. Let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo man. Anyhow, no amount of volition is going to help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. Lucks for lotteries, we're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. <laughs> Head. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. <laughs> Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two, one. And here we go again. Uh, if you didn't know, Stabby, this is the sequel to the first game. I forgot what the first game's called. It's too bad because it's a really good game. All right, this could be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the raining, the raining heavy sleeper chip over there. Urgh. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier, what's with the helm you put on our patient? Hmm. The equipment, it looked different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance. That's all. Uh, then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a new feature? New feature? Behold. Never mind. Forget I asked. I think that's air you're breathing now. Character customization. Oh, oh I think this is one of the puzzles. That's right. Oh, we can actually customize our characters. Um, I'm gonna go to the default because I don't care. And I like the original. Ta-da! You look the same! <laughs> huh? I guess the system computed that my handsomeness look is just how I am. <laughs> I wonder though. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, listen, you better not be. Oh, tag, tag, you're it. Neil, you son of a... <laughs> Again, I do like the new customization uh, concept in this game, but I'm good with the original. Because I both love these characters since the first one. Huh, I guess we're both fine the way we are. <laughs> I was hoping for some fireworks, but I guess the system that chose it was being kind. Well, that's a lovely system. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's go find Colin before he expires. Mm-hmm. Oh, the current memory's position in time can be viewed by moving the mouse toward the bottom of the top of the screen. Oh, let's turn off the world interaction before we wake her up. Oh, oh. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. Okie dokie, let's move. Where are we going? We're going out here. Let's do it. Colin? Oh. <laughs> what the heck? This isn't a stable copy. Let's f let's find one we can talk to. Receive note. Unstable copy. Copy, copy, copy. Why isn't letting us out? There we go. There we go. We open up the doors. Oh, we take a right. Oh. Oh. Maybe he's out here. Actually, there's something I want to check upstairs. Let's go back upstairs. Screw it. Light skull seal. I think it's his book. Wow, I'm really dark. Let's uh, let's change that. Cause I am not tan. I am pale. There we go. That's more like it. That's more realistic. Oh no. Let's go back. Oh yeah. There we go. That is more accurate. Okay, let's check this out. Mother Beaches. We're checking out the book. Never. 
it's still full of books here. He must have cleared it very recently then. Cleared it? Yeah, when I checked this place in reality, it was empty except for one odd book. Which isn't here, actually. Oh, spooky. Okay. We're going down and we take it. Uh, pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine so to autocorrect these kind of spatial inconsistencies? Well... Oh, hey, look! <laughs> there he is. Colin. Let's go get him. Her. Like the sound stuff. Target acquired. Let's go. Turning on entity interaction. Do, 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 do. Let's go say hello. Colin? Huh? What the fuck? Who's there? My name is Dr. Ava Rosalind. I am a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Core. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatan. We're going down. Down in a merry-go-round. And sugar, we're going down swinging. Yeah. Dr. Manhattan. Oh, gosh. You are Dr. Neil Watts. How did you know? Your name tag? Oh. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin. Your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. Heh, <laughs> fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're there, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Fun fact about me, I like saying random lyrics. There you go, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. You are the one, you are the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up. And the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. I give up on my homework. There you go. <laughs> of course, why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state saved, so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst. Wanna save on his state? Yes, your highness. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish... We are first gonna backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then, we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self. And run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Oh, the first game's to the moon, I just remembered. First game is to the moon. This game's Finding Paradise. Anyways. Whoa, slow down. We don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I could answer both your questions with this. It's a Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... Whoa, a mental detective. There you go. It is a memento. Sweet, let's move. Okie dokie. The first we, we already cracked it. Oh, we already cracked it. And then this is the puzzle. This memento's barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent. But the next one won't be so easy. Yeah, well. We'll need to charge it up first. Prepare. That's where we prepare the memento. By doing these puzzles. Oh, this puzzle looks different. What 
the hell? This is new. Long ass sheet. That's actually really fun. That's way more fun than the uh, first game's puzzle. Activate Memento. Thanks. We might come back free hop again. Here we go to the next dimension. We're going to learn about his love and how he had a son because we're going back in time in his memories. Yay. Yay. Woohoo! See, we're going back in time. See, it's right there. It's on the screen. Duh! Idiot! Wait a minute. This place... It's snowy. And looks familiar. It's the Sigmund Guest House. Uh, where they wine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. It's sure been a while since I visited... Looks a bit different from when I was last year, too. Let's check it out, 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 out. So we're going to find three mementos. we got to find three orbs for a memento. Requires one to proceed. Okay, we got to go find one. Oh, it has the same soundtrack. Yeah, by the way, the music in this game mm, is fantastic, just like the first game, I'm sure, so far. <laughs> what are you doing outside the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way. Way, 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 way. Protein. Through the door. Open the door. Here's another one. Welcome to Sigmund Car Guest House. Please have a seat in our living room. Yeah. Are we good to go? Why don't you just sit back and enjoy some tea first? You best have got a long way to care. I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. Li, 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 li. There's so much to the world, isn't there? I did play the first game. It is on my YouTube channel, actually. To the moon. Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? Go. Go. I've already been there once upon a time. Oh yeah, if you want to cry, you should watch the first game. This photo is taken from the stage's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? Not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. We sure get a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, consider it done. If we have to do another one of these, I'm going to go take a nap. It's not so bad. At least we'd get it done fast and go home early. <laughs> go home early. <laughs> Stupid. You see, our service here is really quite simple. You tell us your wish, and we make it happen. Fame, wealth. Unreached goals and secret desires, you name it. Where your genie calling? What is your wish? Uh, so, if I understand this correctly, you're saying I can't wish for more wishes. <laughs> you know, I've done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be. Seen what I once thought I'd never see. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. The pain. And I find myself here, just like everybody else. I walk through these doors and I realize 
that there's still this empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived a happy life, and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we are here, Galen. Just give us the word and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want to fix? Regrets? I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life I wanted, but I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. You don't want us to change anything. Shall know the you shall know pain, pain. <laughs> Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things, we make them better. That's why you come to us, so we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted, but couldn't have in this life, we could give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of my, the life with my family intact. So, you want to waive specificity from the contract. With something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of results. I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. Bitch. Receive Colin's wish. Try not to change anything, and we have free reign over his fate? What kind of last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Uh, we've seen worse. The important thing is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. We're their best people, Ava. Booyah! <laughs> Actually, about that. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. Ah, uh, we gotta go back. Oh, just one more thing. Please don't tell my family. I don't want them to think I'm not content with how things are. Huh? Bing, 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 bong, bong. To the memento. We must go to the memento. We go. Ooh, that, what is that? It's a piece of bread. There we go. Oh. Break it. You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? Well, back in the days, you kept on yelling dumb juvenil ju juvenilities when shooting the barriers. But recently, I haven't heard any Hadouken or Kamehameha or whatnot. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh. Mm -hmm. He's going to do it, isn't he? I thought he was going to totally do it. All right. Okay, so let's do the chickens first. Cool. That was pretty easy, actually. It's a hat. Activate the memento. We go back in time. 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 We're going back in time. He's a little younger. I better head out now, but before I forget. Here, take this hat, Pops. With the headache you've been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. All right, all right. I'll wear it if it stops this multi-directional nagging. Hey, 
It's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, I was talking with my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny, you see. She's single and... Look, thanks, but I think I just really need to focus on my career right now. So, you guys gonna go back to feeding the ducks or something? We wouldn't have to resort to it. To it if you visited us more often, you little bastard. Ah, but that's the hat is 100% cotton. Well, all right, you're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overlord at the ducks. Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. Not for the duck thing, but like, you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't stay out too long at this time from the year. Here we go! That kid needs to make us a grandchild. What's wrong with Jenny anyway? Probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you were young, did your parents say to place people under you too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Hmm. Sucked all the chemistry off of it as well. Boop, boop, boop. What are you doing? I'm texting him Jenny's info to set them up. Don't do that. He's driving. Do it after he gets home. Good, co good call. Make sure to include some pictures, too. The good ones with lighting coming from the side. No words. Receive. No regret. No grandkids. All right, let's go look for some orbs. That's a duck. Hello. My granddaughter turns five this year. Can you believe it? She's growing big so fast. I'm thinking of making my nitty modular. Oh, time really flies, huh? No kidding. I didn't realize how old I was getting until I woke my other hit. Where the hell is still going in your hit? Yeah, I've been lucky on that front so far. Seriously, I shouldn't eat you out right now. Uh, why are you out right now? It's like just a dig old loose bones running around, I'll tell you. Just clanging and clanging and clanging and clanging. How are you? How are you even standing up? How is he even standing up? Legs, I'm sure. Can we go in? Nope, we'll come. We must find more mentors. Oh, here we go. Let's go talk to this person here. Oh. Watch this. Their call card. I printed that. Sigmund Core. What made you change your mind? I still feel the same way about it. But some days I wake up and see you on the balcony, looking out like that. You don't say it, but I know there's something that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Of course I am. I have you in Asher. Pizza break. And why do you want to go through it with all their services? Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. <laughs> An 
Not that I'd be related to you two anyhow. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold up onto something. <sighs> it's not like that, Fia. On. I won't forget about you. Oh, that's so cute. Hey. Hmm. I think I forgot to bring duck food. Huh. Me too. Let's feed him our poop. Well, that explains her attitude. I told you there was something up with her. You know, she could, she could always sign up with Sidcor for a life where Colin never signed up for Sidcor. Har har. All right, let's find the last one. Maybe we gotta go touch him. Oh, we touched him. Are you serious? One for each duck? <laughs> I'm not complaining. Wish there were a whole duck. No, ducks. Where's the original? There we go. Momento detected. Got a dodge here. What the? Uh oh. Who is that? What's going on? This is great. Love it. Uh oh. Back in time we go. What took you so long? I thought I saw someone weird back there. Uh, did you say that to the face and hurt the feelings? Uh. Weird as in they were watching from the woods. Watching from the woods? Yeah. And when I looked, it almost seemed like they... Uh, never mind. It's stupid. Okay, but be honest now. Have you been reading too much dust like... I've already said... Never mind. They were static anyway, so it was no one important. Hmm, hmm. Well, you'll be happy to hear that while you were staring at nothing, I've scouted this memory out. Wait, what? I was only behind you by a few seconds. Ha! <laughs> nice try, slowpoke. Anyhow, here's what's going on here. In the kitchen, they have a fight about what we suspect from the last memory. BAM! After that, they make up and play music together over there. Q R uh, Q R, except oh, etc. etc. Oh, and then Colin goes to sulk on the balcony. The end. Dude, spoilers. Are it always a bad thing when we're on the job? But here, I even picked up a memory link for you to make up for it. And if you want to see everything yourself so much, then just don't use my unlocks. Anyway, on that I egotistical moment, 
required. How about this guy? Let's let's talk to him. There, there, that goes. My taxes. All right, let's go take a look through this door here. Yeah, all right, this is a door. I'm not going, Fia. Hmm. It's rather ghostly when the audio and visuals don't quite sync up. I don't understand. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. I mean... Don't you have regrets too? Yes, but I'm actually have respect for what I've been through here. What we've been through here. Yeah. Tell me. What do you want to change? I want... I mean... <sighs> there are so many th little things that could have just been better. Better. And if he calls Sigmund, what would you ask for? I... I don't know what to tell you, Fia. Then the least he could do... He could have done is to make up something nice, isn't it? Remember, Colin is our client. Everything else is fluff. I know. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, I guess there's only one other place to go. I guess we go back. We go out here. Nope. We go up here. Nope. All right. I guess we go back upstairs. I pooted. Out the window. Here we go. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh. Memento, de Memento detected. All right, we need one more. Vec, the last one B. I assume it's this piece of shitty paper on the ground. Maybe it is downstairs. Maybe it's the TV. Hey yo, Nipa, Step Poo gotta go now. Take it easy, Step Poo, take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. We all have regrets. Be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. Or perhaps that once special someone. If you've got to do it all over again, who would you be? Where would you go? At Sibling Corps, we give you that second chance to make things right. Hey, hey, DV. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good. Because with our help, it's never too late. Well, I'm glad they've made better slogans since then. Hmm. 
Bye. Take it easy, step Phil. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with your homework. <clears throat> All right, let's open this up and let's clear this memento here. Okie dokie, what we do here is, uh... Interesting, okay. He's a little boy. Wait, how in the world? Oh, wow, that's new. Okay, we're going to when he was a child. Childhood. Did we just skip his whole life? I don't know how this could have happened. Whoa! But since we're here already, try transferring a signal from the last memory. Roger. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Error. Not good. Nope. Not working. We might have leaped all the way, but the middle of the path is still uncleared. Then, what now? Are we stuck here? Uh, beats me. We're already here, though. Might as well look around. Hmm. Note anomaly. Something isn't right. Sweet. We could just jump. The book was what catapulted us all the way here, right? How very magical and equally annoying. Hey. Hmm? This book. It's not getting wet from the rain. Huh? I guess it glitches in more ways than one. Okie dokie. Ah, it's a little girl. Requires five to proceed. Yeah, let's look around here. Maybe the bed? Arm clock? Nope. Through the door. Maybe the puppy? Is that a toy corgi? No, Ava. It's a rude dog. <sighs> okay. These puns are too strong. Oh, Irish people. You hang in there, son. Boots in the fridge as always. Keep this place in check, all right? I will. I'm sorry, we have to leave again, Colin. But at least we got to see you today before we go. I understand. You need to go hard to keep us afloat. That's right. <laughs> it's a difficult time, but we'll get through it. And one day, things are going to be all better. We'll make sure of that. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You should keep eating. You should keep eating more, you little scamp. Those breads were going quick for a while. For a while. I thought you hit a growth spurt. Uh-huh. Take care, son. Bye, Dad. Idiot. Smelly beaver. Whoa! I get to watch porn while he's gone. All right. Here we go. Let's go in here. What do we see? We see a book. It does nothing. All right, let's go talk to the kid. Deep, deep, down. There he goes. Okay, here we go. And now, back to Rudog, the red nosed Corgi. Hey, look, you're on TV. Say something. That's not how I remember the show goes at all. 
Note, Rue Dog. Okay. Uh, and up there. Hmm. <laughs> you can't get me. Come on, Rude Dog. You can jump, too. Or is a plushy dog with a red nose, 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 nose. Okay, maybe it's this jar. A jar of loose change. Oh, all right. Hmm, maybe we go out the door here. <gasps> It's an airplane. Oh, no. He tripped. Let's help him. Ding. Is he dead? If he's dead, how could we be here decades later? Maybe it's his twin. Dude, too soon. <laughs> Little spoiler from the first game if you haven't played it. Uh, all right. Well, actually, I guess it's been a while. A long while, but still not cool. Eh. 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 All right, where's the memento? It's probably the airplane here. What the frick? Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's in the kitchen. Hmm. It was the coat rack. Now, I think it's got to be the airplane here. Okay, it's not. That's so weird. Maybe it's the toilet. Nope. Okay. Um, maybe it's the dog on the couch. Nope. Yep. Okie dokie. It's gotta be him. Okay, it's gotta be- here we go. Plush dog with a red nose. No. Wow, that is surprising. Uh, maybe it's the outlet on the wall here. Nope. Okay, maybe it's the stuff on the ground. Nope. Uh, what have I not interacted with? Maybe this wall here. Or maybe we go through the door here. Cool. There we go. <gasps> what the? Isn't this already the fifth? This memory back? Yeah, huh? Do do do, let's break this circle. Wait, I just realized something. Hmm? A few memories ago at the Sigmund signing house. Uh, here we go. And the boss said he put his best people on the case. This is, was like ages ago, Neil. But he didn't actually mean us, did he? Because Colin was originally assigned to Roxanne and freaking Rub. Yeah, let it go, man. This is utter bullshit. Okay, calm down. No, I am rage. What? I'm... I am Goku. Kame, Kame. Don't interrupt me. Ah, do you again. Nice. Wow. You've really moved up to getting sued by two IPs simultaneously. Sorry, Ava. I just can't have you go on thinking I've gotten tame. <laughs> you could say you brought that upon yourself. No, Neil. I really wouldn't say that. Prepare the memento. Prepare! Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
Airplane activated. Activate. Activate. All right, let's see where this goes. Let's see where it goes. We're on a plane. Just remember, he was a plane. And we're back. We're back right on track. And we're back to we're back to old age. Whoa. At Lightning Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. Uh, Cactus 135, Atlanta Center, Roger. Altimeter setting 3017. Have a good flight. Altimeter 3015, thank you. Cactus 135. Well, got a nice tailwind going for us. Sir, now that we're in cruise, I just wanted to say... It's an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. Heh. <laughs> it's all good. Rather poetic, really. Passing the baton and all. But you should know. As my co-pilot, there are only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir. Yep. There. Yes, Captain. And lending gear down. You're funny, sir. What did I just say? <laughs> Yes, Captain. Oh. Ha! Of course I'm just messing with you. Just reminded me of back when I did my first flight as first officer, that's all. Man, my captain then was a crazy mess. Yes, Captain. Hmm. You know I just said I was kidding, right? Yes, Captain. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in and sit for a bit, if you don't mind. It's my last flight, after all. They're not gonna get this view again. Yes, Captain. Irene, could you please bring my family in? Thank you. Here we go. Let's go see the fire. Oh, shit. All right. Cool. That was easy. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? Eh, times change. One of these is the family. Here we go. I think we found him. So, what did you two say one last round? <laughs> is it alright with management? Already approved. Special occasion and all. You've heard of him, ma. Uh, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Anything? Go. What the frick? There we go. <sighs> so, you're gonna miss the views? From the big birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. Oh, don't you do renting those small planes? I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like, one of those monster double-deckers. Ha! <laughs> I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A lot with... a time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying, and you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? your mother, but it was to impress a girl. Yeah? Did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please. With the way your father acted, I doubted he'd date anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey now, Fia. Don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in the day. Captain, just a reminder that we're on the record for the black box. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. No. No, they really aren't. Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. 
Yeah? Well, let me tell y'all a story about this one time involving a jar of pickle. Okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now, shoo shoo. <laughs> that was a close one. Sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. <laughs> Dr. Watts is sitting in the frickin' pa the pilot seat. So, uh, you coming with or what? Nah, I like this view. I thought you were ac acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap up this memory and I'll join you after? Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from the seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the... Don't give me that chicken! Oh, thank you for the lovely flight, sir. Cheers. Hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one. Hello, little one. Hope you enjoyed the... The landing sucked! Uh, yeah, sorry. It was a little rough. Not one of my better landings. The wind was... Yeah. Receive note. Regret. Bad landing. 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 It's the last flight. Oh, a fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. Oh, cellist. My bad. Thank you, sir. Yay, are you good at the cello? Ha, not really. My wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I love playing it as a kid. Oh. All right. I guess the cello is the memento. Yep. This makes sense. Let's prepare it. And then I'm going to sign off after this. Because I'm getting mighty bored. What's up? Dude, I was about to... <laughs> oh no! Uh... How did we skip the, to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. At least I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. Alright. Let's go and save here. Cool. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen and others, thank you so much for watching this episode of Nipet TV. And I'll see you guys in the next stream whenever I have the time to do so. Peace.